Hello beautiful people, it's your girl the alien cat and welcome on into our very first episode of our brand new channel. I'm excited. For those of you who, who uh, do not know me, I am a cur currently a full-time independent a content creator. I am a digital artist. I sell uh, Twitch and YouTube and d d d Discord assets over at, on my Etsy shop. And I also uh, take commissions. So if you're looking for, for an, an artist, shameless plug here right now. <laughs> And I am also a stammer advocate. That is the reason why we have this channel is to give you guys a bit of an insight as to not only what, what it is, but how I deal with it and what are the uh, is, 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 is struggles that I face. And also, if any of you guys out there have a stammer, if you can relate uh, to anything, and if you and if you also feel uh, comfortable w w w w w w w sharing, I would love to hear your thoughts as well or your uh, experiences. Also, if you have any questions, anyone, you can also if if feel if feel if feel free uh, to ask them as well. And I will also say that every now um, and again on, on Twitch, I will do stammer awareness streams where I will. Um, have people in my community and they will come in and they will ask uh, questions and I do also have some uh, m m m members of my community as well that have either had a st stammer in the past or they currently have one they will also come to share and either within the uh, chat itself or they will join me on a, vo a voice call and they will answer questions alongside w uh, with me as well I wonder if you just heard my dog uh, bark or not. <laughs> now that we know who we are and what we are about, let's go over what is actually a stammer or a st is a st is st is st is st is st is st a term. And is there a difference uh, between the two? I will say this now. The answer is no. So according to Miriam Webster here, st uttering. Um, is to speak within a vol voluntary uh, disruption or blocking of speech as by re repetition or prolongation of vocal sounds. Pretty much what you guys heard, I think, up until now anyway. And also, according to Mayo Clinic here, st st stuttering, also called st stammering, I personally prefer to say stammer because stutter is hard for me to say, as you can probably tell. Um, Stuttering, also called stammering or childhood onset fluency disorder, which, by the way, I did not know that it was also known as that until I until I came across this definition. It's a speech disorder that involves frequent and significant problems with normal fluency and flow of speech. People who stutter know what they want to say but have difficulty saying it. For example. They may repeat or prolong a word, a syllable, or a constant or vowel sound. Or they may pause during speech because they've reached a problematic word or sound. I do believe that this is probably like the most accurate uh, a description of what it is because and it covers a lot. Right, so now that we know what a stammer is, I will also give my disclaimer. I am not a professional. I am not a speech therapist. I'm not any kind of a th 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 therapist either. I am merely here to um, show my a po a point of view. Now that we have gone all of that out of the way, now we can get into the episode, which is how a stammer has affected my speech. So let's get it into uh, the first way that my stammer has impacted or affected my speech and that is my voice. If you've come to my li live streams, you know that I like to do uh, voices and stuff. I, I, I like to also quote films and shows and YouTube I I I videos and also uh, vines and memes in general. So I will use a voice, you know, to do it. I will either lower my pitch, I will raise it, you know, depending on the character that I am trying to quote, impersonate, or, you know. However, even when I speak normally, as in, like, I'm just trying to have a conversation with some with somebody, some, sometimes what can happen is that I will raise or lower my pitch, as in, 
I will use a voice to help me not get stuck on words, basically. How it also works, at least for me specifically, when I increase my, con my con concentration on my vocal cords, it can hel help me to not uh, st 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 stammer as much. So when I, I do a voice, that is the purpose of, of that, is to try to help overcome the bumps that I have to deal with when I'm trying to say words. It doesn't always work. I, sometimes I will, a lot of the times actually, I will still uh, stammer even if I use a voice. So, eh. <laughs> it's kind of become a, a second nature for me anyway to just use a, a, a voices. Okay, so that was uh, uh, the 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 impact my stammer has on my voice. And now we are going to go over how the stammer has impacted the words that I use. There are specific words that are hard for me to say, which includes st a stutter, as y'all as y'all can probably tell. It's hard for me to say it. I will also say I have heard from other people who who have stammers is that they do have very very specific words that they will get stuck on and they know it too for me it can change however stutter and a word in hebrew which means thank you i will always get stuck on those two words i think i probably i think if i were to also think i would probably find more words that I will always get stuck on. So in regards to the words that that I use, so how it works in my head is that I know what I want to say. I have the, a sentence in my head. I know exactly what I want to say. I, I know how I want to say it. However, that I, I, I also know with the sentence in my head, I know which word I'm going to get stuck on. Now, you could argue that because I already know, I'm overthinking it and that that's what causes me to get stuck on the word. And to that I say, it's a valid point, but I don't think that that is my specific case because I have lived with this for my whole life. So I know when I'm going to get stuck on words. It's just, it's not, it, it doesn't have for me at least, it doesn't really have anything to do with overthinking it, it's just, I just know. When that happens, when when I know that there is a go a going to be a word that I'm going to get this, this stuck on, one of three things can happen. Either I will just push through, I will get stuck, and you know, it's a la vie. Or I, I will change that specific word to, so, to something else or three i will change the whole sentence completely now i don't like to use either of the last two options i will explain why when i have to change a word or the whole sentence just because i know that i'm going to get stuck for me it can be frustrating in the sense that i feel like i lower the impact of the of the point or the message that I'm trying to get across, it's frustrating in 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 all kinds of is, is situations as well. It can be fr 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 frustrating in a more pr professional envi environment as well. It can also be fr frustrating in just a social event if I'm hanging out with friends and stuff and I have to change a word. It's like I don't like to do it. Because I kind of force my, um, myself to change what I want to say and how I want to say it just so that I can avoid a specific word. When it comes to, say, changing a, a specific word, basically I just sw switch it out to something else that is either lower level than what I want to say or it's some, very rarely it can be higher, which in that case it's fine. But for the most part, it, it low, in my personal uh, 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 opinion when I do have to swap sw about it tends to be going from a higher level word to a lower one and when it comes also to changing a whole entire sentence as well so that can also be fr frustrating in the sense that I have to lower the level of the sentence and then in my eyes it just doesn't sound as good as I w want it to. That's what it comes da down to. It does not sound as good as I, wa I want it to sound like. Now we're going to go over how it has 
affected the language that I speak. So as I, I mentioned before as well, I, that I will always get stuck on stutter <laughs> and in a word in he in Hebrew. So I am bilingual. I speak English and and Hebrew, I am fluent in bo both of them. English is my other tongue. So there is a thing where people who, who speak more than one uh, uh, language do, is that they will actually switch in between languages mid uh, uh, conversation for a couple of, of reasons, either because they uh, start a sentence in language X and then they switch over to Y because it sounds b b better in in language Y, in my in my case also, there are words that exist in Hebrew, for example, that do not exist in English and vice uh, uh, versa. So I will switch the languages um, for that reason, because say I start um, a sentence in English and then there's a word that I want to say, but it does not exist in, in Hebrew, no, sorry, in English. So I will say it in Hebrew, and then I will, and then either I will switch back to English or just, you know, continue the conversation in Hebrew. It also depends on who I'm speaking with, because if I speak with, with say my friends who speak in both English and Hebrew, then I will just switch in between and I will just continue to switch, you know, and they will still understand, uh, uh, understand me anyway. And people do it anyway. So it is a thing. I just wanted to make you guys aware that it is a thing for people who know more than one uh, 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 language, you know, to switch in between. And I will do the same the same thing as well. I, I will switch in between just because either the specific word the, the, uh, does not exist, so I will switch, or just because it just sounds a bit a bit better in the other. Uh, uh, language like so there is that and in my case specifically say I'm starting a conversation in Hebrew and say that there is a word that I know that I'm going to get is, is, st is stuck on in Hebrew but I know that I will be able to say it fine in English so I will switch to English because it's easier for me to say like for for me to actually be able to say it and then either I will continue the conversation in English or I will or I will switch back uh, to Hebrew. So yeah, I think uh, that pretty much uh, covers most of it, I think. <laughs> Thank you all so, so much for uh, tuning in. I really, really appreciate it. If you guys enjoyed this episode, please feel free to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more uh, videos every I, I plan on posting twice a week. I don't know which days yet. So once I do, I will let you guys know. <laughs> um, if you have any uh, questions or if you would also like to share your uh, story, then f f feel free to leave a, a comment about it down below. Or you can also uh, come and join my li live streams over at Twitch where if you have questions, if you want to share as well, then that is a place to do it too. I will link all of my is, is, is socials in the description box. So yeah, once again, thank you. And I will see you in the next episode. Bye.